Aluminum fences look great and are maintenance free, but they don't provide any privacy when you want to keep things in your yard out of your neighbor's view. In my case, those things happen to be my trash and recycling bins that I had no room for in my garage. The easiest and cheapest solution to adding privacy to aluminum fences or chain link fences are these privacy screens. But I'm going to show you what's good and bad about them and what they're actually like. Because when I got my screen, it wasn't exactly what I was expecting based on these Amazon listing photos. This screen turned out to be a great solution for my needs. But I still think it's important for you to see what you would be getting to determine whether this would work for you. The first thing to know about these screens is that the material is described as high density polyethylene and that's basically plastic as in plastic trash bags and plastic grocery bags. The screen is not like a tarp but rather a loose weave of this plastic material. Now don't be fooled by the look of this trim that resembles those nylon straps on duffel bags or laptop cases. This trim is not made of durable nylon. It's actually made up of the same plastic material as the rest of the screen, but manufactured in a tighter weave. So the bottom line is that this screen may not be all that durable. There are these grommets through which you should be tying the screen to your fence, so that should help minimize wear and tear on the trim. I draped the screen onto the fence and noticed that I could see through it. I could see my dog walking back and forth behind it. And when I put the trash and recycling bins behind the screen, I could actually see the blue color of the recycling bin showing through, which was not acceptable. So I decided to install two layers of screen. These privacy screens are sold in various widths and lengths. I bought one that was 4 feet tall and 25 feet wide. After deciding to cover only a small segment of my fence, about 8 feet of it, I cut off a third of my screen with scissors and then fold it over the larger remaining piece to create a double layer of screen. I had to add additional grommets myself along the edge where the screen was folded over and along the raw edge on the side that got cut off. These screens come with zip ties for you to use to attach the screen to the fence. I noticed that the screen that I received was defective in that the trim was stretched out too much and bulging in sections between the grommets. But I didn't bother sending it back to Amazon because I didn't want to have to wait for the replacement to arrive. Instead, I bought some extra zip ties to attach the trim flat against the fence. It was easy to pierce the trim and push the zip ties right through it. So I ended up adding a bunch of extra zip ties all over in sections between the grommets and I think I may have overdone it. But I'm happy with the way everything looks now. Now my trash and recycling bins are out of view from the street so that I won't get in trouble with my HOA and I even added small plastic fencing to enclose the area for the bin somewhat. And what I'm going to do later is spray paint the small plastic enclosure black. I bought the plastic fencing from Amazon as well and we'll put a link to it in the description box below. 